Hey everyone, I'm excited to announce that my new add-on, Modifier Set, is now available for free. I originally made this just for myself, but it turned out to be super useful, so I decided to share it with you all. Alright, let's start by going over how to install it. First, download the zip file from the link in the description below. Then, open Blender, go to Preferences, and click on the Add-ons tab. Click on the triangle icon, select Install from Disk, and choose the zip file. If you ever want to remove it, just go to the Get Extensions tab, and you can uninstall it from there. Once it's installed, you'll notice a new Modifier Set tab at the top of the Modifier panel. When you open it up, you'll see a bunch of presets already registered. With these buttons, you can quickly use modifiers. Now let's try editing this. If you want to add a new modifier, select the modifier you want and then hit the Add Selected button. You can also rename it, change the icon, or even adjust where the button appears. Plus, you've got options to toggle the visibility of icons or names, and even change the number of columns to customize the UI to your liking. To remove a modifier from the list, just click the red trash can button and it'll be gone. And this add-on supports geometry node-based modifiers too, like modifiers for hair setups. If you've created your own geometry node setup and saved it as an asset, you can register it in the modifier set as well. For example, this radial modifier is something I made and released for free, so feel free to check it out too. Any changes you make to your modifier set list are automatically saved, so the next time you open Blender, your setup will still be there. But where exactly is this data stored? If you go to the Preferences and the Add-ons description, you'll see the file path for the prefs file. You can click it to copy the path, open it, and you'll find a JSON file containing your saved list information. Like I said, you don't need to manually edit this JSON file since it updates automatically. But if you want to share it with someone or back it up, you can copy this file and save it wherever you like. I created this add-on using Serpents, an add-on that allows you to create add-ons in a node-based workflow. For anyone who wants to customize this modifier set add-on further, I've included this original Serpents file I used to create it. Feel free to edit it to fit your needs. That's all for the explanation. Thank you so much for your time.